So from here, let's just go ahead and take this out of log form and put it in exponent form. Because, you know, where, where do we go from here? I don't know what log of h plus is. I know it's equal to negative 4.5, but we can actually isolate or get that h plus alone if we go from log form to exponent form. So to get it into exponent form, we want to identify the base of our log. At the beginning, we said that's a base 10 because it's a common logarithm. So 10 raised to, remember our logs are equal to the exponent, so raised to the negative 4.5 power is equal to whatever we were taking the log of, which is h plus. So look at that. We have gotten our, well, do we keep the brackets around? I don't know what those brackets mean. We'll assume they're important. So we have solved for h plus. So then we grab our calculator. h plus with brackets is equal to 10 to the negative 4.5 power. So you type that in and you're gonna get something that looks like this on your calculator. If you're using a graphing calculator, here's what it looks like. 3.162277666 and then you have an E and a negative five. If you're not using a graphing calculator, this is gonna look a little bit different. I don't know if it'll have the E, but this is how your graph, graphing calculator shows scientific notation. They're saying it's three point, all, three point whatever times 10 to the negative fifth power. We don't want to leave an answer that looks like this. We wanna take it out of scientific notation. So we're going to take our decimal because it's e to the negative or e negative five that's times 10 to the negative five power we're going to move our exponent five spots to the left so you're going to move it one two three four five so h plus in the end is equal to zero point and then we moved it five spots so i'm going to have one two three four zeros and then the three so here's where the decimal was. We moved it one, two, three, four, five. So this is a really small number. And then I'll just say three, one, six and call it good. And our, what are these? The concentration of hydrogen ions is measured in moles per liter. So we'll just put a label of moles per liter. And this is the answer we were looking for. So we applied our properties of um, logarithms to isolate the H plus and get that alone. Nice little scientific problem for you. Um, and now we have the skills to do this.